What you gonna do, Rick? Oh my god, this isn't gonna be the stalling to the floor, is it? He isn't gonna send him to the floor. Oh, into the landmines! Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. I'm glad to have you here, and we are continuing the PCW tournament for this month, PCW Ready to Die. On the last video, we ended up doing about eight matches from round number one, which leaves about seven matches remaining, so that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. And remember, in this month's PCW tournament, it is a landmine deathmatch tournament. So every match is contested in landmine deathmatches. So it's really getting crazy out here. If you would like to participate in the next PCW event, make sure to check the link in the description. Remember to tell me down in the comments below what your favorite match with the episode was once the episode is over. And as always, leave a thumbs up to show your support. Now let's go ahead and get into this first match. We have crowd favorite Baby Reigns. Facing off against Tyler Bate, who is already busted open. Did he just get busted open on that barbed wire bat? Baby Reigns is going in 30 seconds into the first match, and Tyler Bate is feeling the pain. It looked like he was maybe going for that Tyler driver, but that's not going to happen. Baby Reigns is representing TH Takeover. Tyler Bate representing Brandon Best. Tyler Bate making his first ever PCW appearance. And Roman Reigns is showing him what PCW is all about. This is crazy. Tyler Bate is already bleeding all over the mat right now. As Tyler Bate's trying to find his way back into this match. And Tyler Bate's throwing some hard ass moves at Roman Reigns here. A body slam from Baby Reigns as he looks to get this back in his hands underneath. Up and over goes Tyler Bate, and now he's putting in the baby hold. <laughs> I gotta say, I love Baby Rain. That's how you get him over, baby. Make him a little baby. A suplex as Baby Reigns will hit that little bit of table that's over there in the corner. Tyler Bate now, his hair's looking good. He got that clean fade coming into PCW. And now we got a little bit of a showdown. Uppercuts and fists coming from both the men. Tyler Bate trying to stay within, but the cock and the fist of Roman Reigns is too much. Drops the leg two times in a row. The two-time baby Reigns going for that butter. Oh, wait a minute. As I was about to say something, Roman Reigns looked like he was about to try to go for some sort of spear. Roman Reigns going to reverse there with a suplex of his own. As he picks Tyler Bate back up, who's already just... I mean, this man is just bleeding everywhere. This blood is incredible. The fact that he is still in this... Good Lord, what a brain buster. I thought that was going to be it. I thought he was going to go for the pin there. Off the ropes with a spinning European uppercut. That was pretty hot. Tyler Bate showing his ass here in PCW. I'm about that, baby. Wait a minute, Somali drop! And Tyler Bate is out! Landmines going off, he is literally losing like half of his blood! I don't know how this man is still here! Tyler Driver! 2.9! That is not it, Baby Reigns is not going out like that! He's feeling it just a little bit. Off the barbed wire aboard goes Tyler Bate. He's saying just bring it Baby Reigns. Again with another suplex there from Tyler Bate. Okay, I thought he was going to go for a leg drop like Roman Reigns was. Wait a minute. Big power slam. Baby Reigns bringing the heat to Tyler Bate. Tyler Bate's trying to fire back. He's got some heat of his own. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Baby Reigns trying to get, get that victory. I understand. Wait a minute. Tyler Bate got him up. Airplane spin from Tyler Bate. Vintage Tyler, boys. Roman Reigns off the ropes. Oh, he went for the spear! But Tyler Bate's been watching the tapes off the ropes. Roman Reigns, no! And we have a reset here at 9 minutes, 12 seconds in this PCW matchup. Look at the strength of Baby Reigns. Small stature, big strength. Tyler Bate again! with another suplex. Off the ropes, Roman Reigns. Oh, a power slam, did not expect that. A two count as Tyler Bate is still kicking out. 
Baby Reigns is looking to finish this, man. What's he got here? Look at this. Oh! Trip tossing him. And now Tyler Bate is feeling the wrath of Baby Reigns with the methodical breakdown here. He's going for a big slam again. Is that going to be enough to put away Tyler Bate? No, just a two count. Big Lariat from Baby Reigns. Another one. Tyler Bate with a body slam. And that sends Baby Reigns into the landmine on the floor. Baby Reigns is back in the ring. Is he going to be able to come back from landing on the landmines? Tyler Bate dragging him center of the ring. Oh, and we have a back and forth. The crowd is on their feet. A big lariat, but Tyler Bate with a drop kick. What a hell of a performance from Tyler Bate for his per first ever PCW event. He's out on his feet. Roman Reigns looking for something. Tyler Bates saying, not today, fool. Tyler from behind. Roman Reigns able to reverse into the barbed wire board. What is this? Oh! Is Roman Reigns bleeding? It looks like maybe he has a cut under his eye. Deadlift German suplex from Tyler Bates. Both men are down another reset. I can't believe this is the first match of this video. Power slam from Roman Reigns. Tyler Bate out on his feet. Wait a minute. Sending Roman Reigns down one more time with a suplex. Off the ropes goes Tyler Bate. Sending him a twirl. Off the ropes one more time. Underneath, underneath. Back body drop. Uh-oh, he's cocking that fist. All oh, the big dogs got to hunt. Roman, uh-oh, waiting to toss him. He wants that pin. Is he going to get it? And that's all she wrote. The blood loss. Tyler Bate finally having to call it a day. And Baby Reigns and TH TakeOver are moving on to the next round. Hell of a performance from Tyler Bate. But Baby Reigns is just the man. We have so many new additions to the PCW roster this month. Dean Ambrose making his debut. And I mean, he's got some, uh, he's got some experience in these sorts of matches, right? So uh, we'll see if he can take down Scotty Steiner. Scott already bleeding? Really? Scott's already, that's a, that's a good sign for Dean Ambrose. We'll see if he can capitalize on that because Scott usually does pretty damn well in these matches, in these tournaments. He goes pretty far, usually. So we'll see if Dean Ambrose, a newcomer to PCW, will be able to take down Scott Steiner. See, I told you, he's not afraid to use these weapons. Dean Ambrose is going to get in the mix. Scott Steiner is representing Craig R. Dean Ambrose representing Ashton C. And Scott's flexing on him. He said, you're no competition, brother. Dean Ambrose is here to prove otherwise. Now, while Dean's shirt might not have two wolves on it, for some reason, whenever I see this shirt, I think it has two wolves on it. <laughs> Dean Ambrose now going for a pin on Scott. Not going to happen. Scott, oh, he's dropping exploders. But there's also a lot of blood around the arena right now, boys. This is not a good look. Dean going to try to shoot on Scott Steiner. Interesting decision from Dean Ambrose. Trying to shoot on the man Scotty. Oh, they, I don't know how that happened. They ended up both running into a different... I don't even know how that happened. Is now Okay, so everyone in the ring right now is busted open. Other than the beautiful man Ref James over there looking quite good. I see you over there. There's a good delts right there. Back and forth action right now. Dean Ambrose... They are still going? Scott Steiner going to pick up that W right there. But he ain't going to pick up the W all around. A chop from Dean Ambrose now off the rope skis. Big kick from Scott. Trying to get behind Dean Ambrose. Not going to work. A shot to the nuts chewlers. Just a one count. So the crowd appreciates this. Dean Ambrose going outside to the landmines. And now Scott has got to be in control of this matchup. Dean picking up Scotty Scott. Oh my goodness. Look at the pure unadulterated strength 
of Scott Steiner. What do you do against a beast like this? Scott calling for the end of this match. Dean Ambrose said, now nah, you're going to eat this bulldog, old man. Oh, wait a minute. Dean with the punches. A flurry of combination. Dropping the Scottster. Another flurry of punches from Dean Ambrose. But Scott said, come here, boy. Tiger bomb from Scott Steiner. And a big shoulder tackle flushes Dean Ambrose. He don't know where he's at right now. Looking for a Steiner line. And a big splurter will do the job. Kendo stick in hand from Scott. He is looking to go to town, but Dean's going to be able to stop it. Scott picking up Dean off the ropes with a big kick. Dean with the chops. Putting the force behind him. Dean on the... Ooh. De ooh. Dean is dropping his elbows. Damn, I thought he was going to hurt himself falling out of the ring. He was hitting him so flush. Scott drops. Dean Ambrose, a Steiner line from Scott Steiner. Another Steiner line. The Steiner lines keep coming. The shoot headbutts. My man is putting the work in off the ropes with another Steiner line. And now he's flexing on Dean Ambrose. He's got the chair. What is he going to do with it? Nothing. Dean Ambrose able to shoot on Scott Steiner. Get a heel hook in here. Trying to make Scotty give up, but it's just not happening just yet. Off the rope, Scott Steiner. Dean Ambrose going to fire back with a forearm. A clothesline. Showing that he can throw him to... What? Dean Ambrose with the upset. Taking Ashton C to the next round. Wow, he must have hit him perfectly. Look at this matchup. Tetsuya Naito, former PCW World's Champion himself, facing off against Triple H, who is making his PCW debut. And you already knew that Triple H was going to use some weapons if need be. Tetsuya Naito representing Xeon AMVs, Triple H representing Levi H, and Tetsuya Naito is going to feel the landmines first. And he is already busted wide open. A body slam from Naito will drop Triple H. This could be a quick one. Now, if this was a straight up wrestling match, I would probably give the advantage to Tetsuya Naito. He seems to have a very good track record in PCW when it comes to things like that. But Triple H is just a whole nother demon, man. Especially when it comes to matches like this, where anything goes, it's crazy out here, man. Body slam from Naito. What Naito really needs to do here, I think, is, is get Triple H out on those landmines because uh, he's already bleeding up a storm. And as we've seen throughout the matches so far in this tournament, the more and more you bleed, the more and more likely you are to go down to a small package or a roll up or a clothesline. Or, it just could happen out of anywhere, to be honest. So the more time that Tetsuya Naito spends bleeding, the easier it's going to be for Triple H to pick up this W. A punch to the midsection from Triple H, who is just it's sitting in a plethora. I mean, look at the equalizer just sitting right there, brother. It's just sitting right there. As both men go to town, Tetsuya Naito is going to be the one that comes up with the upper hand there. We have a swinging net breaker now. As the momentum has shifted for Naito, he goes for some sort of maybe shoulder tackle, but Triple H is going to be able to get out of the way and hit him with a punch. Gooch Destroyer there from Naito. Destino! Is he going to be able to get the pin? No! He was not able to get the pin -aru. I'll be diddly damned. And now we got back and forth punches. Oh, a big spine buster from Triple H as both men hit a reset here at five minutes, which is really quick. Another reset from a snap suplex. Naito going to take a second as the crowd is starting to come alive here for this matchup. Off the ropes here. Naito with the shoulder tackle. Picks up Triple H. Big swinging neck breaker from Triple H. You said, suck it. Wait a minute. Destino again. And he capitalizes on the pin. Is Naito going to do it? No, 2.9. Swinging neck breaker from Triple H. Into the corner goes Triple H. Is he going to be bleeding? We'll see when he gets up. No, he is not busted open, but Naito is making it his mission to make sure Triple H is busted open. It's just not happening. Frankensteiner from Naito, who goes for a pin there. 2.9. 
If Triple H was bleeding, that could have been over right there. Oh, and Naito will go into the landmines again. While Naito has hit two Destinos, it's not an issue for Triple H, who is going to try to get underneath him. He's going to try to get that headlock pick, that headlock victory right there. Naito's going to pick him up center of the ring. Oh, I thought maybe he was going to go for the Destino, but no, we got a combination flurry here from Triple H. Is he going to hit that pedigree off the ropes with a big knee? My man with that high knee, that's vintage Triple H. I wasn't sure if he was going to bring it out in this match or not. Wait a minute. Destino! Critical! From Tetsuya! Naito! Naito is taking Xenon AMVs to the next round with that Destino Critical out of nowhere. Triple H didn't stand a chance. We got Ricky Rick in the Funky Bunch facing off against Edge, who's got the Rated R Superstar. He's got that goody good attire on. Ric Flair representing Reed F. We have Edge representing Sam M. And we'll see who can come out on top here. Small package here from Ric Flair, who is looking to get this victory as soon as possible, which I do not blame him. And we've been seeing that a lot tonight, the elbows on elbow action. Oh, the stretch from Ric Flair. That's just some old school wrestling right there. Off the ropes, big back body drop onto that piece of table. Did you guys see that right there? Now Ric Flair is going in on the legs of Edge trying to get him sauced up for that figure four. <laughs> Yo, what? Did you hear my man wilding out right there? Wow, it's really crazy out here, huh? Ric Flair into that barbed wire board there. Edge picking him up now. What is this? Oh, nothing as Edge is going to say no to that. But Ric Flair is going to go for those gonads and he wants a victory. Not going to get it just like that. Going to have to hit Edge a little more in the baby makers. Wait a minute. Edge has got that steel chair, but Ric Flair getting underneath it. And Edge is just going to town on Ric Flair right now. Ric Flair is just eating these chair shots. You got to wonder how much damage that did right there. As Ric Flair with the stalling vertical. Look at this, people. Just a thing of beauty. Edge even hitting a little bit on that table piece. Now off the ropes, Edge with a big clothesline dropping Rick. Big German suplex on Rick Flair. Both men are down. Edge picks up Rick. Into that barbed wire goes Edge, but not going to be too much of an issue. Oh, big impaler DDT. Is that going to be all she wrote from Edge to Rick? No, just a two count. Rick Flair able to get up. And now we got the chops and the punches, the back and forth action here from both men. And Ric Flair's chops are going to be a little more powerful. Rick puts him in a headlock, but Edge able to get out another chop from Ric Flair. Now a suplex from Edge sends both men into a reset at six minutes. Edge trying to follow up. Another DDT on Ric Flair. Is he going to be able to capitalize and go for the pin? 2.9, I don't know, he could have got it. It was a little late though. Jawbreaker from Ric Flair who goes for a pin on Edge. Nice back driver there from Edge. It looked like he was gonna be the one to get into a move there. Rick, nice drop kick to the knees. Now both men looking at each other. Small package here from Ric Flair, just a two count. Bulldog sends Edge to the floor. Now he's going to go for another pin. Just a two. Another small package here from Rick. The crowd is starting to get into it. They don't know who's going to come out the victor in this matchup. It looks like Edge has got that piece of table. Edge not afraid to use it. Rick now catching his breath. Smart decision, I think. I think that might lead to some good things here for Ric Flair. Shoulder tackle. Uh-oh, Rick's got the legs. He's got the legs. What you gonna do, Rick? Oh my God, this isn't gonna be the stalling to the floor, is it? He isn't gonna send him to the floor. Oh, into the landmines! Damn, Edge is taking some damage. I cannot believe my eyes. Wait a minute, Edge gonna fire back? And he sends Rick onto the landmines. Edge is busted open. 
Rick is busted open. Now we got a match, people. Rick Flair, jumping pile driver. Goes for the legs one more time. Figure four! And that's all she wrote! Rick Flair is taking Reed F to the next round. Hey, the boys did it, man. The boys were doing it. And Ric Flair is the one that wins. Look at this handsome man, Rhino, making his PCW debut against none other than Neville. And I don't care what anybody says, if there was anybody who was ready for this tournament, it is definitely Rhino. But he is facing off against Neville, who is not afraid to put it all on the line when need be. Neville is representing Tyler L. Rhino representing Jordan D. Rhino trying to pick up a W in his first ever PCW tournament. We'll see if he can do just such. You know what would be nice? I think you know what would be getting him a victory? Maybe a little bit of a gore action. We'll see if he can bring it out, boys. Rhino now trying to get the wear down on Neville. Get him ready for that gore. But Rhino's not afraid to use those weapons either. Look at Neville, man. He just pulls off a shooting star press like it's nothing. Oh, nice suplex there from Neville, who is now going for the legs of Rhino. Interesting decision here from Neville, but a good one nonetheless. Oh, what a spine buster from Rhino. These moves got to be doing extra damage to Neville. Hard hitter Rhino putting the damage in. Good Lord! This man Rhino went so far, he didn't even land on the landmines. He completely missed him. Neville is not playing around here, people. As we have a back and forth here. Rhino now pick it. Wait a minute. Gore! 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 What in the world? Rhino is wild! Wait a minute. Rings of Saturn locked in on Rhino. Wow. Back and forth with the gore! Rhino is going to be a force to be reckoned with if he can make it past Neville. This man brings it out every second. Deadlift German suplex. What power! from Neville. Another spine buster puts him down flat as Rhino picks him up again. Oh, he went for maybe a Frankenstein and Rhino stops him with a powerbomb 2.9. Off the ropes goes Rhino. Neville with a big, look like it maybe a cross body. Oh, the rings of Saturn are locked in. Is that going to be enough? This is going to be Rhino's number one weakness right here. Neville can't go for the red arrow because the ropes are blocked off by the barbed wire boards. Stuffs him again. Is that going to be enough to put him away? No, it is just a two count. Uh-oh, Rhino has got that board. He wants to use it, but Neville is able to stop him off the ropes. Goes Rhino. Oh, okay. Just sends him up in the air. Oh, okay. Into the rings of Saturn. He is not going to give up. And down goes Rhino. Both men down right now. Neville picks him back up. Enzigiri drops Rhino back into the rings of Saturn. Rhino has got to stop this from happening. He is maybe one, maybe two away from just giving up. Flexing out on Neville, showing his strength. But he's got to be able to stop the rings of Saturn or else this is not good news. Wait a minute, Neville. Oh, big release German suplex taking advantage of the situation. Rhino's out on his feet, but Neville is also out. Stamina down, Rhino. Oh, went for a powerbomb, but Neville's able to slide through. The swiftness and agility of Neville, and he did it. Neville will come away with the victory on Rhino. That's what it came down to, the strength versus the speed and agility, and Neville will be taking Tyler L. to the next round in PCW, ready to die. Check out this matchup. You got Big Bob. <laughs> you got Big Bob over here, people, with the headband on. This man don't care about nothing. He's here to play. Yo, did he just spine buster him into that light tube and make him bleed? Pete Dunn already bleeding? I mean, Pete Dunn already had an uphill battle against Bob in the first place. Now it's just even rougher. We'll see what can happen here. Big Bob off the ropes. Oh, my God. Big Bob with the spear. This man is all on Pete Dunne's ass cheeks. What is Pete Dunne going to do to stop Big Bob? But I guess a suplex into the light tubes will be something. Goodness gracious. 
Pete Dunn representing Jordan J. Bobby Lashley representing Breakdown. Pete Dunn going for that arm, but Bob Lashley's MMA background will not allow him to tap to such an amateur move. Big Bob now giving the taunt. He wants this match. What is this? Oh my goodness. The variation there from Pete Dunn as Bobby Lashley picks him up again. He wants a spear. Big Bob wants a spear. Look at the flex right now. Flex on him, flex on him, flex on him. Oh, German suplex will send Pete Dunn driving into the mat. Uh-oh, you do not want to send Bob off the ropes because that's always a scary sight. What is all that variation again? Pete Dunn, such a technician in this ring. We'll see what Bob can get done. They're just chasing each other right now. The punches. Oh, here we go. The back and forth action. Big Bob. Big Pete. And Big Bob will do it. But he expends all his energy. Oh, my goodness. Is this an anaconda vice from Big Bob? Look at that. What is this from Pete? Dunn! I thought maybe he was going to go outside the ring. That was scary for a minute. Pete Dunn locking in that submission one more time. Big Bob. It looked like he was going for a shoot takedown on Pete Dunn, but Pete Dunn's going to be able to get out of the way. Bob now going to get that stamina back up. What is this from Pete? Done! Oh my goodness! My man truly don't care about nothing. Going for the pin now, just a two count. Big Bob got him up. And drops him down, vertical suplex. Bob wants the end of this match. He's calling for it. The shoot takedown. Now he's choking him out. Is the ref gonna call it? No. The ref not calling it just yet. Bob with a forearm now. Spear! Ref James down for the count just to two. A little bit out of position. He went for that shoot takedown one more time. The knees to the head from Pete Dunn. Big Bob calling for it! The taunt into the spear. And it's just a two count. People, Pete Dunn has so much heart. I cannot believe that this man is still in this matchup. Big Bob gonna take a second to get some stamina. A big kick will drop Pete, and now he's gonna drag in Sleeper! And that is all she wrote. Big Bob and Breakdown moving on to the next round in the PCW tournament. The Dragon Sleeper locked in. You got them big old biceps. And now for the final match of round number one, we have Kazuchika Okada representing Red Eye facing off against PCW newcomer Sting. And Sting is representing Eric. So we'll see who can pull through for their respective patron in this match and move on to the next round. Kazuchika Okada just going straight at Sting's neck bone. Smart move there, but we'll see if it pays off in the end. Sting trying to get behind Kazushko Okada. Get that headlock locked in. Maybe get a little give up action. Okada with the forearm to the back of the neck bone. Sting now firing off with some forearms and slaps and punches and elbows and just got it all, baby. Okada Death Valley driver, but Sting said, I eat those, boy. Suplex from Sting puts down Okada. In the corner they go. Okada now gonna drag him back to the center of the ring. Okada off the ropes. Big boot drops the stinger. Okada off the ropes again with another big boot. He's going to go for the pin. Will Sting go down? Just a two count, but Sting just ate that piece of the table. Wait a minute, people. And there goes Okada into the landmines on the outside. Sting going to take a second to get some stamina back. Okada busted wide open. That drop kick, 10 stars. Dave Meltzer just nutted. And Sting is now putting the heat down on Okada. As Okada looks to pick him back up and get something started, maybe go for that Rainmaker there, but Sting said he's got a clothesline for you, buddy. Don't worry about it. Into the barbed wire now. Both sides barbed wire. Sting with the kendo stick. Picks up Okada. Okada's able to stop him. Judo throw from Sting showing off a little prowess there as Okada puts him down. Big drop kick flooring him. But Sting's back to his feet already. 
Big judo throw again from Sting now. Back and forth between these two competitors. Okada just staring at Sting. He said, bring it, boy. Uh-oh. Uh Wait a minute. Okada. Oh, I thought maybe he was going for that Rainmaker. Dropping Sting real quick. A roll through. Will he be able to put down Okada? Just a two. Okada picking him up. And now the back and forth action, people. The back and forth action. Sting with a lariat. Okada with a Yakuza cat. Okada staring him down. Okada with the reversal into a suplex, putting down Stinger. Picking him back up, roll through from Sting. 2.9, Sting almost did it, people. Sting almost had it. Sting picks him back up. What is this here from Sting? Big power driver flushes Kazuchika Okada. But Okada will fire back with a DDT fighting spirit from Sting, who's flexing on Kazuchika Okada. He picks him back up. Wait a minute. Jumping tombstone. Is that going to be all she wrote? 2.9. The crowd has come alive. Sting with the kendo stick. Flexing on Okada. Putting him down to the ground. Going for the pin. Just a two count. Okada fighting out. DDT puts him down. We have a reset at nine minutes. Maybe going for that Rainmaker. Sting going to be able to stop it. Drops him with that suplex. Okada back to his feet, dropping Sting right there, going for a pin. Will he be able to pick up the W on Sting? No, just a two count. Sting drops the elbow. Into that barbed wire goes Okada's pretty face. Sting feeling the hurt. Uh-oh, the chops from Sting. Into that barbed wire. Okada picks up Sting from behind. Maybe going for that Rainmaker. Sting has obviously watched the tapes. Impressive from Sting as he picks up Okada. Drops some flush. And now Okada's going to take a second to get his breath back. But wait a minute. Sting with the power bomb. Scorpion Deathlock. And he did it. Sting is taking Eric to the next round. He has defeated Kazuchika Okada. I'll be damned. And that is it for round number one, people. What an impressive round, man. Things are completely changed here in PCW for this tournament. It's crazy out here. Remember, guys, to leave down in the comments below what your favorite match of this episode was. Also, remember to leave a thumbs up to show your support. And I will see you guys in the next round. See you.